What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here, and I wanted to talk about a little stuff that's going on in WWE 2K and 2K18. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about this because there's been a lot of issues with uh, a lot of people going out to the WWE 2K event and giving out false information. It's coming in from Uprox, and there's also stuff coming in just from articles here and there. Um, basically, we need to clarify some things because these articles are being wrote because... Um, some information that W2K has given out to us when I was there at this developer segment. Um, they had said some things, but then I was reading some of these articles. I was like, this can't be true. That's not true. This can't be true. So the Uprox article, they're actually clarifying this. They've actually reached out. And the big thing is that people are wondering about create a story and create a finisher. Um, going on down to Kayfabe, which if you don't know who 2K Fabe is, um, he's a guy that works for WWE uh, 2K Games. And he is making sure that everything is possible uh, to have this like clarification, I should say, for the future of, of the, the games. They're, they're, he's on there to answer questions on the forum and just kind of talk about things and go through everything here. So um, as we know, there was kind of a creative story and a creative finisher thing that was kind of uh, back and forth. We weren't sure what was real or what wasn't. Um, being there, I never heard anything about creative story and I never heard anything about creative finisher. So I was like, this doesn't seem real to me. So um, 2K Fabe, which I said is a guy that's actually answering all the questions, came out and said, Hello, WD Universe. I want to clarify the Uprock situation. First, I want to say that Creative Story and Creative Finisher will not be featured in WWE 2K18. We have contacted Uprock so they can edit their articles and resolve these errors. I realize that lately my news hasn't been uplifting, but I do that my efforts here are showing 2K's resolve of wanting to be in a better communication with all of you. I hope you all will enjoy more information about W2K18 as it drops. Keep an eye out. Cheers, 2K Fabe. And what's good about this is that they know that communication has not been good with them. So 2K Fabe is actually on the forums. He's asking, answering all these questions, trying to be very, very transparent with everything going on um, because there's no reason to like hide these features or say, yeah, this might be in a game. No, they're straight up saying, create a story and create a finisher are not in there. But that does not mean that create a video is not in there. And I think what's happening is create a video is staying in the game, um, but the ability to create a story is not in there. Create a video is just to create an entrance video, um, create like a highlight package together. Um, I think you can use it for a show intro as well. That is going to be in the game and they have free roam camera in that, but to create a story where you can add text and all that is not in the game. And also create a finisher is not in there. So I just want to make this quick video, talk about creative story, talk about creative finisher. Um, just talk about that feature real quick, because that has been a big thing where I've, I've seen people on Twitter and people on Facebook. They've been asking me, uh, creative story is back. Creative finisher is back. Uprock says so. So, I'm going to say that a lot of people, and this is this is just being a headache with 2K, and this is something that they're they're probably going to reevaluate going forward in the future, um, is that they have to think about when they do these these events that people are going to get some misinformation. They're going to put that out there, and that might hurt your uh, former, like, future situation coming forward uh, in the WWE games and being able to talk about information because if you're posting articles and you're talking about stuff and it's not real information from 2K... Uh, 2K is not going to be very happy and they're going to be kind of upset and then maybe in the future they're going to be like, uh, Uprox, I don't know, maybe we don't want to have you out there. Um, I'm not saying that they're bad people because I met them and I thought that like everybody that was at the event was very cool. They had a lot of positive input and they're very, very good. They're good people. I will not say anything bad about them, but I'm saying the part that they're writing an article and putting out information that isn't true. Um, that might hurt their chances in the future. Like I said, I don't have any problem with anybody that was at that event, the 2K developer event. Um, I thought everybody had a lot of really good feedback and a lot of input that they put in. But again, like I said, some people are putting out misinformation and that's where 2K Fabe is coming back and saying, um, we're fixing that. We got all this information. Um, here's what we got for you. So I think it's awesome. I think there's uh, great transparency going on right now. So anyway, guys, create a story, create a finisher, not in the game, but I just want to put that out there and talk about 2K Fabe because I didn't really get to talk about 2K Fabe, uh, but he is the guy that's going to be there and answering all the questions on the forum to make sure that people know that we're trying to be more transparent, that 2K Games is trying to be more transparent with what they're doing. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of WWE 2K18. Is there anything else that you've noticed that might not be real information, but uh, websites and people are reporting on it? Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And as always, that's the video for today. Tony Beats Guy 2.